probably in the last six months, I, I felt the time was getting near to, to me pulling the pin on, on my career as a, a sevens coach. I think this year has been really demanding. And I think uh, weighing up um, the short turnarounds, uh, uh, the number of tournaments that I was involved in heading into the Olympics was quite a challenging year. And I, I just felt with all those pressures, it was just about time to, to actually give the game up. And uh, when I say um, give the game up, I, I probably talk more about um, having more time to myself and uh, because the demands this year have been horrendous. I think 240 days away from home this year, which was quite a lot moving into the Olympics. And, and I'd always said that um, I'd like to obviously be part of the, the Olympic program. Um, my aspirations has always been, once it was named as an Olympic sport, I wanted to go to the Olympics as a coach of the Olympic Sevens team. That's happened and now perhaps it's time to step away. Perhaps I was meant for the game of sevens, I was coach 15, so did okay with playoff plenty, got them to first division in 15s, but at that same time I was, I was backing up a 15s game with sevens and uh, it just became too much, so I elected to go down the sevens road and, and it's been a, a really great decision that I made because uh, I remember the very, very first tournament I, I won as a sevens coach before I became the New Zealand coach, I won the Melrose sevens and, and that was where sevens was born. And then from then on, in 94, winning my first tournament, Hong Kong Sevens, with the All Black Sevens team, I'll never forget that. I think there's 43, 44, I think, just, just recently, I think Artie was the, the last player, Artie Savia, uh, to go on and become an All Black. And um, been a pleasing part of my career, really, was seeing some of those players move on to, to the All Blacks. And uh, it's a real, real thrill, and, uh, and that's never changed. You know, Eric Rush was, was fantastic. He's someone that uh, we formed a, a magnificent relationship as a, as a captain coach many years ago, and uh, 13 years he played for me. And, uh, and of course, um, there's some wonderful athletes that have come through this game. Jonah, Jonah Lomu, Christian Cullen, you know, Joe Rokothoko, Anthony Tuatavaki, they just, Ben Smith, Bodine Barrett. There's a number of them. And um, I mean, I, I don't like mentioning players because there's so many others that I've, uh, that uh, I've left out. The aftermath of, of the result or the, the tournament is, um, it takes time, it takes time to get over. Obviously the disappointment of, of not securing a medal in, in Rio, but um, time's a great healer and, uh, and that's the case uh, with myself. And uh, you know, in reflection and um, what could I have done better, I think we gave it our best shot as a management team and as players and, uh, and that's all I can really, um, ask for. I mean, um, mate, you come out of that, you'd be disappointed if you felt you took shortcuts and you should have done stuff, but I felt we gave it our best, but when it came, when it really mattered, we didn't perform and, and that's what it came down to. I'll miss the, I suppose, the, the culture, the team uh, overall, you know, that we've had some great, great times over the years and uh, built some, some great relationships, you know, the, the, the players and uh, the demands of the tournaments and uh, no doubt I'll miss all that but then again um, who knows I might be involved in some capacity and, and still being at some of those tournaments to see the players perform. What happened with the horse in a motel? It was a, just a, a bit of a prankster and a bit of a joke. Many years ago I as a 15 aside player playing for St Michael's actually at a Maris tournament in Hamilton and Steve McDowell who was an All Black and, and him and I were great mates and we went back to the country club Motor in, motor in, motor hotel in, in Hamilton to get ready to go out for the Saturday night and um, at this particular motel with a couple of ponies and um, we elected to put one of these ponies in the, in the coach's room. So in the coach's return there was a pony in his room but um, yeah so that's how, how the story goes and, um, and that's what happened. I still feel I have a, a lot to offer the game, it may not be in, from a coaching side, it may be also from a development side and a talent ID side, I don't, don't really know that at the moment. Cheers mate, thank you mate.